वेलकम माई फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रमेश शर्मा हेयर एंड वी आर वॉचिंग रैक्ट रूडक्स सीरीज हेयर सो दिस इज अ पार्ट वन ऑफ सीरीज एंड इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट आई इंट्रोड्यूस यू अबाउट दिस सीरीज बट वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस इन सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज सो एज दिस इज अ पार्ट वन सो वट वी विल डू इन दिस पार्ट सो लेट सी दैट सो वट वी विल कवर इन दिस पार्ट इन दिस लेक्चर सो वी विल कवर वट इज रीडक्स सो वट इज रीडक्स एंड देन वाई वी नीड रीडक्स so these thing we are going to cover here so i will tell you the re some redux concepts some redux uh, terms that we are uh, that we are going to use in the practical form from our next video so let's see what is redux here so now what is redux so redux is a predictable straight container for javascript app so it is uh, a straight container so you can uh, like uh, it is a straight container like it it will act like a store there and then uh, our uh, adding uh, like it will contain some initial state so whenever we will dispatch anything or we will uh, and uh, give anything add anything to the redux so our state will change and we will get data from our state only so let's see uh, from its official website so what it is saying so see that it is uh, saying that a uh, redux is a predictable state container for our js app so this website is redux.js.org so here see that what is predictable so here predictable means so see that uh, redux help you wrote application that behave consistently run in different environments and easy to test so uh, uh, the redux the redux help the way like uh, it help us to make our application write our application to make our application consistent uh, that we will see so why we need redux there so in the redux you will be more clear about that then uh, this is our centralized your application so centralized your application means uh, there is one store there one store from that store uh, our all props or you can say that our all components will take data from there so it will be having capabilities like undo so that uh, we can also undo and redo our state for that then we can uh, it is debuggable we can easily debug our application and our redux architecture is very good it is like a fluxed architecture so we can debug it easily so that we can find any error if we are getting then it is very flexible so means any ui if you will apply uh, any ui in any application so it will definitely work with any type of ui so it is also a flexible there. so now let's move to presentation and let's see more points about that so now let's see next point uh, so see that it is inspired by flux uh, structure el and immutable structure so immutable structure means uh, that can't be changed so until we will not apply any uh, push or any dispatch function and we will not any data to the redux so it will not change and that is flux architecture so that flux architecture i will tell you in the few, next few slide after next few slides and make state uh, mutation predictable that predictable i already told you in the previous slide uh, so that uh, what uh, from the dad website so what is predictable so it can run on any server and it make uh, your code very easy so what are the main principles of redux so let's see the main principles of redux so first is single source so this is a single source and the, and the single source means a single state object tree within a single store means it contains a single store there so from that store uh, from that store every component will take some take the data so we will not have to pass props so means there can be very less cohesion uh, there can be very uh, means we, do, uh, we it will not have any complex structure like uh, any state will not depend upon any other state so like that then state is read only so our state is read only so uh, like there are some two things in the redux first is actions so actions and dex is state and dispatch 
so until we will not apply any action our state data will not change so it is also known as immutable next changes are made with pure functions so until uh, until uh, we will first of all take the previous state and after taking the previous state we will apply some action and then we will uh, return our next state that is our updated state so we can only changes our state with the help of pure functions so so no mutation of the previous state like there will be not any change in the previous state so there will not any change in the previous state if we will uh, change any returns uh, means previous state will be like same and it will return only our new state if we will apply any uh, function to make our changes so that we can undo and we can redo it next why we need redux so this is a very most point why we need redux so if we have any complex state or any complex data structure in our application like there can be many big application there is many asynchronous data transfer so for that we have to use redux here next if there is any logging or there is any api handling so if we want to handle api and like uh, in the month stack there is handle api there can be the uh, complex structure so for that we need redux api handling is also known as asynchronous data so then if we want to up, uh, use undo and redo features if we want to apply undo and redo features in our application so for that we need redux next if we have to make our state persistent then we need redux and if we need time travel debugging like uh, time travel debugging like uh, say that what what is the previous state you will undo it undo it and you will debug the previous state and then come back to a forward state like that next to handle our data easily that why we need redux so this is our redux in picture so how this will look like that so this is just like a flex structure here so let's see what is this so i'm going to use our pen here so see that here is first of all this will be our whole state so this will be our whole state and then this state is will be connected to our reducer and this reducer will contain our dispatch function and it will contain uh, actions in the reducer it will contain action as well as our initial state so we can make many reducers for that so now here when this is our state so first of all the initial state will be sent here and then see that this is our application you can say that by any component or any component like that so here like we have to deposit ten dollar and then we have to withdraw so first of all when we will check click on this deposit ten dollar so then we will apply our action there so we will use our action so there there are action types so that can be uh, that can be like action type here it can be like deposit so deposit like this deposit action type then if this action type there can be many action types like that it can be second x uh, action type will be withdraw so i'm going to write wit for withdraw and this is second action type so if we will click on deposit then this action type will match there and then it will go to our dispatcher and then it will go to our reducer and it will match the action type and then it will update our state and we will get our state and here we will write ten dollar so we will get our updated state so if we will write withdraw and it will match a wit and here we will apply action and dispatcher uh, with the help of dispatcher we apply action there so then it will move to reducer and then state and after that it will withdraw so here it will again zero. so this is like that now these are the some terms for our redux so first is our state so what is our state so state is our plain js object only that uh, same like that we use in use state in our simple react 
and then is action so this is a plain js object with the type field means it is having some type and then with the help of that type we will match that type and after that we will tell if this is the type then what we will do to our state here then there will be our reducer so reducer is just a pure function that contain our uh, current state and it contains all of our actions and then it return the new state means it manages our state and it contains our actions here so it will uh, it will first of all match the type of action then it will do something that is defined in our action there to update our state then redux store so what is redux store so redux store it holds the current state value what is a current state value and we can create this with the help of create store so there is create store function that is uh, coming from our redux so then it applies three methods first it dispatch so dispatch is used to change our state and then is get state so what is the state here now state here so we can get our now state with the help of this get state and then there is subscribe here so this is some uh, advanced concept that is about subscribe that i will tell you in the upcoming videos next for today this is enough so now what we will learn in the next tutorial so in the next tutorial we will see what is reducer and what type of dependencies we need to uh, depends we need to install our redux here so we will first of all see what is reducer and then we will see how uh, what are the dependencies that we are going to use to install our redux here and after that video we will start doing our practical work so i will tell you step by step how we can use redux in our project there thank you for watching and if you have any queries please comment in comment section if you like this video please like subscribe and share this channel and last thanks for watching i will see you in the next tutorial